All right, roll on with some MLS action from this past weekend, a rematch of last year's MLS Cup Final, Columbus, LAFC, meeting in Los Angeles on Saturday. And this game was not <laughs> close. Columbus, five to one winners wow. in that. Southern California in a game that show. featured six goals and three red cards. Columbus, a third in Major League Soccer's Eastern Conference, LAFC tied for first. Uh, out west. Her, both of these managers, Wilfred Nancy of Columbus and Steve Turundolo of LAFC, have been linked with a vacant U.S. job. You got a preference between the two? I just, uh, you see what the producer's doing right now? What's that? You see what he's doing right now? <laughs> you know, the producer knows what he's doing, you. I know you. producer Beto was at this game. You. He was, yes. he was. Did you get an invite? Uh, I did not. I'm not a big LAFC guy. I oh, you see... were dying to go to a game. No, I wanted to see the Open Cup you game against New Mexico Open United because right. my, my boy's in yellow. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I'll play along. Okay. I will play along to what we got going on here. Let's say these were the only two candidates because mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of people that watch this. How could you say this? These are the only two candidates we are talking about mm -hmm. right now. Certainly, this panel would go for an international manager, a foreign manager, somebody of a more prestigious name than these two very respectable figures right here. But if these are the only two managers left in the world, mm -hmm. I'm taking Steve Turundolo. Really? Yeah, yeah. For international football. That is the key here. Five if, to one. Hold on. Five to one. If, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If I was going to... So I need to, to remind you who you picked in MLS Cup last year. Who did I pick? You picked Columbus. They won, right? Yeah. Okay, then listen when I talk. So, <laughs> if... If you're telling me I'm picking a club manager, Shaq, and he's got leave me out of this. every leave day. Me out of this. He's got yeah. every day to work with these players, <laughs> with this club team. Give me Wilfred Nancy. Give me Wilfred Nancy. That man could drill it in, get these players to buy in, and he's got enough time to work with them so they play a certain brand of football on a club team. International football is different. Mm -hmm. There are few teams in the world that play the way the Columbus crew play, that brand of football. And we can name one probably right now everybody's going to say, well, Spain plays that way. Yes, you have the team, the players that the Spanish national team has. You have that pool. No, you don't. You have more of a pool like the rest of international football that is vertical, transitional, that is fast, that can be lethal in transitions. You have to play to your strengths in that pool. I don't know how fans, I don't know how I would feel having Wilfred Nancy at the helm of a national team with this pool playing that way. Be a heart attack waiting to happen for me. How much, Shaka, does nationality matter when you're trying to pick an international manager? And do you think the U.S. is a country that should be looking for somebody outside of kind of the U.S. MLS bubble? Uh, I, I don't think nationality matters at all. Um, I, I am just in that camp, and I know others would, would say it differently. Um, but given, given the way the game has gone, I, I, I don't see that as, 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 being, as being a factor. And, and there are far bigger nations with far longer histories in, in their game that have gone international a long, a long time ago. So I, I don't see that as, as being anything uh, of, of, of an issue. Is it what American soccer needs? Uh, I, think, I think American soccer needs, needs a manager who comes and gets his team... Um, delivering on some of this promise. I, I have sat here, and I, I am totally neutral as far as US soccer goes, but I have sat here through four golden generations, um, <laughs> and, and um, none of them deliver on, on, on that title. And I, I feel that kind of, especially now, when you, when you look at, at some of these talents, or when you look at where they're playing, let me phrase it, when you look at where they play their club football, mm -hmm. I, I feel that U.S. needs a manager who can better adjust, who can better get the best out of these players. Um, because while as disappointing as it was um, and has been, I, I feel that so many of these players are underperforming on, on so many levels. And... Maybe that's down to maybe that's that's down to Bearholter. And again, one of the anomalies of, of international uh, soccer is you don't get to bring in a player who fits your philosophy or your ideology. Your ideology has to adjust to who you've got. And I, I just don't think I don't think um, anybody has, has done that well. Did you see the reports about Luis de la Fuente? I did. From uh, Stephen Goff of the Washington Post reports that uh, Luis de la Fuente's Agents actually made contact directly 
with U.S. soccer a couple days before the European final, which was kind of remarkable. Um, is it? Oh, well, I think the obvious. Yes, it is. I think the cynic says it's a, it's a leverage play uh, yep, ahead yep. of a contract negotiation. I don't think he needs much more leverage. He just won the European yep. title, though. Well, um, but, but certainly, I mean, he could have he called any federation in the world. They chose to call, call U.S. soccer. If you U.S. soccer, that, to me, that says that the, not only one is the job attractive, but, again, it says we should be aiming for the stars here. You should. You should be aiming for the stars, and then who knows what you get. I mean, that's but, about as good a candidate as you can think of, right? Right now, yeah. I mean, there's a strong case to be made that the Spanish Federation is doing something right. Mm -hmm. They won the Women's World Cup. Mm -hmm. They won the Men's World Cup. They've Men's got a Euros. team that won the Champions League. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm sorry, yeah, Euros, apologies. Um, they're doing something right at all levels. So poaching talent like that could behoove any federation. Mm -hmm. You and I have spoken about this before, how the Mexican Federation seems to be trying to do that. In the women's game, for sure. In the women's sure. game, for sure. Yeah. So, so, yes, but when it comes to Luis de la Fuente and his camp seeing that openly a federation had just publicly let go of their coach and states that money isn't an issue, the budget is not something we are worried about, certainly leveraging that because he is, compared to his peers, underpaid, Luis de la Fuente, leveraging that for a better contract would be in the works. I mean, you can't see somebody leaving... Leaving Spain right now, coming off that for the nope. U.S. job, huh? No, and, and listen, I, on, on the we like to dream on this show. We had Jurgen Klopp in our in our sights for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? You're gonna tell me no Klopp, no De La Fuente. Yeah, I just go for what it. other bubbles are you gonna burst here, just go for, Yeah, Klopp, De La Fuente, co-managers with Ancelotti as the assistant. Are you, are you at least impressed that that these are the names in the orbit? Uh, no, they, they mean nothing if 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 you can't deliver on it. It's all, you know, we, we could just throw names at, at, at a mm -hmm. wall if, if, if we want, and that's not going to impress me either. Um, listen, from, from, from the De La Fuente perspective, I, I think it's also telling that this supposed approach comes before the final, mm -hmm. um, almost as a just-in-case. Backup plan. Yeah, let, let, let's be honest. If De La Fuente doesn't, didn't come into to this Spanish job, didn't come into this Euros with that much of a reputation. Who, which big club goes out and identifies De La Fuente as their man? Had they lost the final, which big club identifies De La Fuente as their man? And such as the thin margins in this game, Spain go on and win with a what, 83rd, 84th mm -hmm. minute winner, and all of a sudden now he is on everybody's radar. Not the US, no, not just the US but everybody in terms of national teams, in, in, in terms of club teams. So if, you, if again, and I'm, 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 the, I'm, I'm the skeptic here, um, you, I come out and, and I try to get that opportunity for him just in case, and then just in case isn't needed, so be it. But you don't, you don't go running with it after.